A couple days ago, I posted a video of this carabiner, this orange carabiner being broken and uh, ask how people thought it was broken and uh, what the, the kilonewton rating that it broke at was. And the answer to that is, is that it was nose hooked. And on the nose hook, it broke at about four kilonewtons. It was just a hair under that. So, um, but you can see the deformation of this carabiner here versus the green carabiner. Um, both of the carabiners are the exact same to start off with. So what nose hooked means is there's this little nose right here that can get hooked onto a climbing bolt. So we'll show you what that looks like on an actual climbing bolt. So that's what can happen. Carabiners that don't have the notch in the nose, like this spirit quick draw right here, tend not to get clipped like that and won't stay if they do get clipped like that. Sometimes they'll unclip or they'll just slide back into place. How this can end up happening is when we're clipping quick draws, we have them French style or the carabiners reversed. So when we come on this side of the rope, the quick draw starts to pull this way. The, the actual gate will start to get impacted by the bolt. As you can see, it's happening there. Then the draw starts to fall back like this. All of a sudden, we take the fall on it and the, carabine, or the, the dog bone can fall back into this and just pull it completely sideways or even down as in the case that you saw on the carabiner that was broken. These are also the same two carabiners and this one was pull tested in its major axis and so you can see it's a little bit more elongated than the green carabiner and it actually broke down at the bottom. It has a similar breaking look that the other carabiner did that was nose hooked but this time it broke along its major axis. This carabiner pulled actually over what the carabiner was rated by a few kilonewtons.